close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah. No, I don't want to waste what's left. And I hey guys, welcome back to this channel. Right, so I just wanted to sit back and chat with you guys a little bit. So I asked you guys last night um, on Instagram to ask me some questions. So that's what we're going to do today. We're just going to answer some questions, um, kind of have a QA. and a I like doing Q&As because I feel like I get so many DMs all the time asking questions. So I figured why not go ahead and answer some. I do have quite a bit to go through. Um, you guys are awesome. You guys asked me so many. Um, so yeah, thank you. Um, if you guys like these, give this video a thumbs up so I know to do more of them. Um, I figured it was kind of easier just to like sit back and actually answer questions rather than constantly like DMing people back to answer questions, which I don't mind doing, but I figured this would probably be a better way of answering some. One of the first questions I got actually quite a few times was, am I still breastfeeding? Um, and the answer is yes, I am. I am still breastfeeding. My hair is crazy. Um, I... Landon has been breastfeeding for nine months now um, exclusively, which is awesome. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's really amazing to be able to say, yes, I've been breastfeeding for this long, but I have so many days where I just want to give up. Um, but I'm trying to at least go to a year. Um, I don't know if we'll go past a year. Um, I'm not sure. Some days I'm like, I'm not ready. And then other days I'm like, I'm so ready. So we'll see when that time comes. But yes, I am still breastfeeding. And I know I was supposed to do a breastfeeding journey video and I never did it. I think instead of doing it now, I'm going to just wait until my breastfeeding journey is complete and then kind of talk about my actual journey overall. Um, so yeah, because I did end up filming a video and I just didn't really like the way the footage came out. So I never posted it. Well, I never edited it and then posted it. Another question is, what is a day in the life like when you work from home? So almost all my vlogs, you can kind of tell what it's like. Um, I wake up, usually the mornings, like make my coffee, make my breakfast, make the baby's breakfast, um, play with the baby a little bit, hang out with him. Um, I usually don't start working from home until usually Landon's first nap, um, if, which is usually around 10 a.m., if he doesn't go to sleep around 10 a.m., I will still pop onto my computer and I will usually work. Usually what I try to do is I try to work while Landon is napping, which is usually a solid two hours uh, for that morning nap. And usually I can get a lot of my morning work done. Um, but yeah, I mean, usually like when I work from home, I'm pretty much cleaning the house, cooking and taking care of the baby and then popping onto my computer and working. Um, I'm also constantly checking my emails from my phone all my work emails so I guess I'm constantly working in a way um, and my computer is usually always open and I kind of like see the emails come through and I'll do things as I go um, my dog is at my door and he just like sniffed weird what the hell like, yeah so I guess that's the day in my life I mean it's really pretty boring um, I usually won't even get ready I won't do my makeup or anything like that um, so yeah, the day in the life of like when I'm from when I work from home is quite boring. Um, and if you watch my vlogs, you kind of can kind of see the morning just of how it goes. Anyways, I also kind of want to do like a morning routine from when I'm a work from home mom, and then also like a morning routine on like my weekend. I don't know yet. So same person asked, did um, a day in the life of when you work at the office? So when I work from the office, I only go in the office two days a week usually. Um, sometimes I have a team meeting and I just take Landon with me. Um, but usually the days that I go into the office, I start work at 10 and my office is literally right up the street. So, um, usually I kind of just like do the same morning routine as I normally would. Um, except I would leave at like 9.50, um, and I will go to work and then I'll usually go to work until about like 1 PM and I'll usually come home on my lunch break. Um, and I usually will nurse Landon or like pump and then have my lunch quickly and then I head back to work and then I'll come home at 5 um, and then make dinner, do Landon's nighttime routine and then that's it. So yeah, the day in the life of work is definitely harder on me. 
I hate having to go to work. Um, I'm like so not ready to go back full time. But I know it's due time, but I'm just, I'm not ready for it. But yeah, my life when I work at the office is pretty boring. I get this question a lot. A lot of people ask me like, what do I actually do? I'm a real estate assistant. Um, I actually work at a model office for a new build company. I work for an individual who's the community manager for new builds in a community that we live in. That's what I do, in case you're wondering. I, I get that question a lot too. Um, so same person asked, did your whole family come for Thanksgiving slash Christmas? So no family came for Thanksgiving. Um, we just had Thanksgiving, just me, Cameron, Landon, and then a friend of ours, China and Julian. Um, that was it for Thanksgiving. My mom and stepdad actually came up Friday after Thanksgiving on Black Friday and they spent the weekend with us. Um, so they weren't here for Thanksgiving, but they were here for like that weekend. And then for Christmas, um, Cameron's mom was in town for two weeks. So we spent Christmas with her. Um, so another question is what made you get another dog? So Cameron and I have been talking about getting a new dog for like the longest time now. Um, just because we thought like it helped Jackson and his like physical activity and everything like that. And it has. Um, she's definitely a little wild one. So sometimes Jackson gets a little frustrated because he's older. Um, but he has his bursts of energy with her that he'll run around and play. And it's fun to see. But we wanted to get another dog mainly for Jackson to him to be more active and have like a buddy to actually play with. Because Roger's just too small for him to play rough with. Um, but yeah, she was a really, she was an impulse buy. Like we went there. Um. We went there knowing we probably would get a dog, but hoping we wouldn't. And I fell in love with her, and yeah, we got her. So what are your goals for 2019? So some of my goals for 2019, I have like a journal, and it's like full of, I'm holding a pacifier. Um, so I have a journal that's full of different goals that I have for 2019. But a few of them is just to be more confident and stop being so down on myself uh, I'm really hard on myself a lot um, and I think I can't do anything which I mean in reality anyone can do anything they set their mind to um, and I say this about other people all the time and I try to like encourage other people but when it comes to encouraging myself I'm really bad at it so definitely like self-love and trying to do things that actually make me happy because um, I'm the type of person I do everything for everyone else and I put all my love and energy into everyone else around me but never enough for myself. Um, so as much as I want to continue giving my love and energy to like Cameron and Landon, I definitely need to work on myself and do things that make me happy. I still love being a blogger. Like I loved it. I've done it. I've been blogging for almost six years, five years. I think closer. My hair. Um, I think closer to six years. Maybe like five and a half. It was before me and Cameron, so I would say almost close to six years that I've been blogging. Um, and I just slowly really stopped. And then I really did like doing YouTube videos because I really like editing and all that stuff. But then I get discouraged and then I stop. So I kind of like really want to get back into like that creative aspect of doing that stuff because I liked it. Um, I definitely want to keep it as a hobby. I don't think I would consider doing like YouTube as like, a job just because... I don't know. I don't think I could make it a job. Um, who knows? But um, I definitely want to just do it like as a hobby because like I enjoy doing it, um, and I enjoy talking to people because you know, being a military wife, you're away from family. You have nobody around you. So sometimes you guys are the only people I do talk to, besides my mom or Cameron. So those are just some of my goals: is being more creative on like my blogs. And YouTube and then also self-love and then I have a few other ones that I just want to keep under wraps for now so what is it like having three dogs and a baby I just said three three dogs and a baby it is crazy do you hear me it's so crazy um, I don't know <laughs> it's a lot of work I'm not gonna lie especially because Nyla is still a puppy um, and I'm constantly having to say no to her but I'm also having to constantly say no to the baby um, it's crazy. It's fun. And it's, I love having a full house, but my house is a lot fuller. <laughs> when are you bringing in baby number two? 
So I kind of hate these, these kinds of questions and I'm just going to say this because you don't know if I'm like having issues getting pregnant or anything like that or if you never know if people are having issues getting pregnant. But I'm going to answer the question, when are we bringing in baby number two? That baby's not coming anytime soon. I would love another baby right now, but Cameron's not ready, uh, especially with the way Landon's sleep has been. Um, it's gotten better, but he's been a little weird the past two two weeks, I want to say, because he was sick and he's not really clingy, so his sleep isn't that great. So I think because of that, Cameron's not ready for another one. Um, I would say like another year before we start trying, maybe. Um, but right now we're just focused on Landon and loving him. Your favorite Starbucks drink? So, I don't think I have a favorite Starbucks drink. I don't go to Starbucks too often. Um, but what I do lately, my new favorite drink is a toasted white mocha latte. It's so good, guys. I wish I had one right now. Um, but that's my favorite drink as of right now at Starbucks. How do you have such a perfect marriage? I don't. Kara and I definitely have had some really great moments in our lives, but we've also had a lot of hard times. And it's been times where, like, I wasn't sure like if we were gonna last um and I don't know if I really should be saying this but um it's definitely been tough um I was young when I got married I'm still young but we were young I was really young when I met Cameron but I mean at the end of the day you just want to make sure that you're constantly working on your relationship because for the rest of your life while you're married you're going to be working on your relationship it's never going to be easy you're never gonna if it just falls into place that it's it's an illusion um no relationship's ever perfect marriage is not perfect by any means um but it's our marriage and we make it work i love him at the end of the day um and divorce isn't really an option so you just gotta keep making it work I like this question so what do you find most challenging about being a mom I feel like for me what I find most challenging about being a mom is having absolutely no help um that's it I mean I think being a mom isn't easy you're a single mom or you're in a relationship whatever being a mom is a lot of work um there's a lot of weight on your shoulders all the time, um, but there's no better feeling than being a mom at all. Um, but I feel like for me personally, it's really difficult not having anyone around me, not having anybody to help. Um, I have Cameron obviously, but I mean, when he's at work and I'm sick and I have nobody to help, like it's hard. Or when I have to go to work, but Cameron has to go to work and we have nobody to watch the baby like that's hard because I have to stop myself from doing what like I pretty much have to stop my career because I have no help with my son and it's hard because for me I, I just live in Colorado I have a few friends but I have nobody that can just like watch my son I don't have a babysitter for him because it's hard for me to just trust a random person to watch him um Cameron and I have been on one date night since Landon's been born and he's nine months old and I mean I just it's hard you know I feel and I feel like it's also hard like not having family around period just because it's hard to have um, him not grow up with anyone around we've had family non-stop visiting since Landon's been born and as like tiring as it may get to have family always over it's also really nice to have family because we don't want him to grow up like feeling like no one was around him or he doesn't know anyone. So it's like as tiring as it is to have people nonstop, it's also really nice and it's like a blessing because he's able to be around family and grow up with family still. Um, but yeah, I feel like that's definitely the hardest part about being most challenging about being a mom is having to do it alone with no family around. Someone said makeup tutorial with heart faces. This isn't a makeup tutorial, but I will have a makeup tutorial soon on my beauty channel. I'll leave the subscribe button at the end of this video, so you guys should check it out. Cameron sent a naughty message and I'm not going to read it out here. What did you go to school for? 
Oh, okay. So, um, if you didn't know, I did go to college. I actually have a bachelor's in fashion merchandising and retail marketing. Um, yeah, I have a bachelor's. And it's a business degree, but it's also like a really shitty degree. I wish I kind of waited to go to college because now I really wish I went for something else. Like, I don't know. It just... I don't really... I wish I did something else with my life. But, I mean, at least I went to school. At least I have a degree. But I'm also paying a lot of money for that degree. <laughs> and I'm not even using uh, using it. So my camera just went totally wonky on me. So I don't even know if I'm in frame anymore. But, so the last question was, how many children do I want? I personally want four. Cameron wants two. Maybe three. But I want four. Um, if my next one's a girl, then I would definitely only try for probably one more. And then I would be kind of done, done. But if Cameron let me, I would totally go for four. <laughs> I grew up as an only child, even though I have five sisters um, and I had two brothers. Um, I only grew up as an only child. So for me, I want my, like, I want Landon to grow up with siblings and have that fun. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end the video here. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little Q&A, get to know me a little bit better. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. If you guys want to see a Q&A with Cameron, then definitely give this video a thumbs up and leave some comments down below uh, for me and Cameron to answer. He's a little weird to get on to camera. Like, he's shy. He's really shy. Um, but maybe if we get some thumbs up, then he'll do a Q&A and then maybe we can answer some questions that you guys have about like maybe our relationship or like relationship advice or I don't really know. We're not great at relationship advice, but I don't know. We'll see. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Give this video give this video a big thumbs up. Um and yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Close till I get up Time is